My name is John Webster. I'm a Chief Superintendent within Greater Manchester Police, which is based in the United Kingdom. So on reflection over the last six months, there's a number of key learning points for me. It's been a real opportunity for me to think about how I lead and about how you know, I'm responsible for so many people. And actually, the success of the department is not about me at all. It's about the success of the people that I lead. And that's really important. It's allowed me to really think and realize that actually I'm there to take all of the problems and none of the thanks. And I've got an opportunity to be really bold and brave and audacious and think about you know, sensible risk taking as a move forward to make my police department better tomorrow than it is today. And I've been furnished with lots and lots of skills from lots and lots of very, very clever and experienced people. And I've taken a huge amount away from what happens in the United States. Because as I said earlier, the US policing is very, very similar to what happens in the UK. And how policing evolves in the US is so important and so impactive because it has a direct impact on the UK. The PLA has allowed me to really focus on some of the things which I personally do well, but also to really reflect on the things that I don't do so well at all. And it's actually empowered me and given me the confidence to try new things, particularly the Capstone Project, which for me is about generating and developing a domestic violence unit, which is so, so important within the United Kingdom. It's a big issue. And it's allowed me to take the bold steps and risks in order to create transformational change within policing. And I thank the PLA for that, because without those experiences, I don't think I would have had the confidence or the, the drive and the boldness to do that. So I thank the PLA to furnish me with those skills. So I've grown as a leader due to the PLA um, much more than I ever anticipated. Six months ago, I came here perhaps a little bit skeptical, but I leave six months later a completely different person. And with 26 years service and at the age of 51, I didn't think that was possible, but it really is. I am now a completely different leader than when I arrived here, you know, in the, in the spring and the summer of 2023. I recognize how important my role is. I recognize how important my role is in relation to the development of other people and the leaders of tomorrow to make sure that our values and our uh, way of working continues and generates and progresses into 2024 and beyond, long after I've left the police service. Really important. I now have, as a result of this Police Leadership Academy, the closest friendships, professional and otherwise, than I ever thought possible. Um, it's been an incredible experience. And all of the people here, they're not just my colleagues, they're my friends, they're my confidants, they're my advisors. We are in constant touch. It's not just the week that we're here, it's the month or so away. We have our communication network set up. We ask people, we ask advice of each other, how we've done this, how we should do that. It's been invaluable. And I can absolutely state categorically that I've made some friends for life. My name is Stephanie Drescher, and I'm the Executive Section Captain of Operations for the City of Madison Police Department. Some of the key lessons I'll take back to the City of Madison from PLA is really to be comfortable with being uncomfortable, but being willing to take risks, and really understanding that as executives, as police executives and leaders, it is our job to facilitate change. Uh, we talked a lot about telling the recruit class like when you sit down in these chairs as a brand new recruit, you're owning the profession, the good, the bad, the history, and what do you want the future of those people to look like and sitting in the seats? And we need to do the exact same thing as commanders and leaders in our departments. So the PLA has added value to my job in the city of Madison because I'm able to take leadership skills and bits and pieces of information and things that you can actually do and implement and take it back to my department to really start affecting change at every single level in the department. I've grown as a leader through my time at PLA here. I think the biggest takeaway is the other leaders. Everybody has their own leadership style and the way that they have followers and learning from what other people are doing here, as well as just, like I said, those actual things that you can do, right? But it really comes down to learning and knowing your people because our biggest asset in policing are the patrol cops and those frontline supervisors and how we can invest in them so then they can be the future leaders of our profession. What I'm taking away from the PLA in terms of the friendships that we've made and these are lifelong friends. We went through a very unique experience together for six months and these are lifelong friends that 
I can call friends, but I can also call and say, I have this problem. Do you have this problem? What are you doing about this problem? What do you think we can do about this problem? So it's not only taking away friendships, but it's taking away things that we can do in the future to better each of our own departments, because everybody does, so, that does things so differently, but there's something you can take away from everybody. My experience at the PLA has been life-changing. It has been um, personally transformative. I equate it often to like, I signed up to be a police officer 15 years ago. I didn't know what I was getting myself into, didn't know what I was getting myself into here. Um, but both paths have been inspiring. Uh, it's shown me what passion and compassion really are. Um, and it's, they've both built me lifelong friends. So it's been amazing. I'm grateful for this experience. I'm grateful for all the people I've met. I'm grateful for all the folks who put so much time and effort into making this a really successful and empowering program, and I, I'm just so grateful.